I'm Melinda and I'm Karen and we're the anchors for this week's episode. Let's start by recapping some recent events. Thanks guys! Hello Bronx Science, Catherine Doss back with Rewind Recap. So let's rewind! <laughs> Last Wednesday and Friday were the performances for Sing. The upperclassmen performed Stranger in a Strange Land, and the underclassmen performed The Escape. Let's hear from some of the performers. What was your favorite part about preparing for the show? I would say it was basically hanging out with everyone in cast and crew because we're all one big family. <laughs> How did you feel after the show? After the show, uh, it was very, very intense just because, you know, I've been doing Sing for four years and thinking that an activity that's been so important to me and to a lot of my friends uh, is nearing the end. It's kind of sad, um, but then again, you know, it's, uh, it's really fulfilling thinking about all the things you've done in your four years in Sing. That's all for this episode. See you next week another Rewind Recap. Back to you guys. Thanks, Hather. Congrats to the Sing crew on another amazing performance. Yeah, you guys rock. So true. Next, let's jump to What's Juicy with Arushi. Hey guys, and welcome back to another segment of What's Juicy with Arushi. You will be receiving your report cards this period. Naviance course selections begins Monday the 20th. Parent teacher conferences are on the 23rd and 24th, with the 24th being a half day. That's all for this week, folks. I'll see you again next week with another segment of What's Juicy with Arushi. Thanks, Arushi. Enjoy those report cards, everyone. Yikes. But at least we have a half day next week. Bless. Anyways, let's cross over to Crisscrossing with Chris. Thanks, girls. Hey, guys. It's Chris, and welcome back to Crisscrossing with Chris. This week, we'll be immersing in Desi culture. So let's go check it out. I'm here with the president and board of Nisha. Nandini, Tasfia, Nitin. And I wanted to ask you guys, what is Nisha and what do you guys do? Uh, Nisha culture is a club where we embrace our South Asian heritage. During meetings, we celebrate holidays, teach our members dance, occasionally watch movies, and have fun. What is the Nisha show and when can we see you guys perform? The Nisha show is March 31st and we'll be showcasing the talents of our uh, members. They'll be dancing, singing, and performing instruments. I'm here with Yish, Sakshi, and Sabarish. And, and we're, we're from Nisha. And I wanted to ask you guys, what's your favorite part about Nisha? My favorite part about Nisha is getting to embrace my culture like I never have. My favorite part about Nisha is getting to hang out with my friends and also learn more about my culture. And my favorite part about Nisha is the show where everyone gets to perform and have a lot of fun on stage. Make sure to watch the Nisha show coming soon. Now back to you girls. Thanks a lot Chris, that was really awesome. Mm -hmm. The Nisha show is going to be epic. Agreed. Moving on, let's catch some sports news with Trisha. Welcome to Competitia with Trisha. What are your names and what team are you on this season? I'm Kieran, and I'm on varsity lacrosse. I'm Corn, and I'm on varsity lacrosse. I'm Max, and I'm also on varsity lacrosse. What are your goals for this season? Goals. Win the championship. Yeah, if we don't win a championship, obviously it's the first goal, but to get better for next year. Why did you guys decide to join lacrosse? Goals. I wanted more team sport instead of golf, which is my uh, freshman year sport. And what is your favorite part about being on lacrosse? Goals. The team spirit and uh, the school spirit for a team. Just being out there playing a sport with your friends. Now, back to you. Girls! Thanks, Trisha. That was so informative. Mm hmm. Hope oh, all the spring teams have an amazing season. Hopefully, there will be some warmer weather coming soon. Hopefully. Next, your weekly dose of fun facts with Nika. Hey guys, and welcome back to Rico with Nika. Now, we all use the phrase bless you pretty commonly, but the actual origins come from quite a few centuries ago. Back in the day, it was believed that when you sneezed, your soul was trying to escape from your body, and the only way to keep it intact was by saying, bless you. Slightly more recently, it was also believed that your heart completely stopped when you sneezed, and the only way to get it to restart safely was by saying, again, bless you. This was your weekly fun fact, now back to you guys. Thanks, Nika, I didn't know that. Neither did I. Now let's roll to the summer Hello Bronx Science! Whether or not you are a student that takes fallow, you must be mindful of the buses. In the morning when you leave the bus, do so in a calm and orderly fashion. If you need to cross the street to get on or off the bus, make sure to look both ways before crossing and following all crossing lights and signs. Please note that we now have a new traffic light right in front of the school. Please be aware of it. 
Also, no headphones or electronic devices should be in use while crossing. Please do not stand up while the bus is in motion. It's dangerous. More importantly, there is no horseplay, throwing things out the window, or bullying other students. If you see any such activities, please report to the nearest adult. Please remember to be quiet and be mindful of the people sitting around you. Make sure to keep the aisles clear, otherwise someone can trip and fall. Follow the protocols given from both valid transportation as well as your bus driver.